Look like little boys again. <laughs> hands on his diet trip. He's going down, baby. Oh, we man. getting back our army swagger back, baby. We putting the army suits back on. We getting, you know, right. They tell me why why y'all broke up, man. That's what we, we want to know, up. man. Y'all never broke girls, up. Girls, girls and niggas and couples relationships break up and shit like that. All we yeah. did was, you know, he gave me a shot and he, and he took his shot. And he decided to do what, what he wanted to do with his shot. I decided to do what I wanted to do with my shot. But you never heard no Nori diss records or no phone diss records or fuck you, nigga. That's what people do when they break up. They, you know what I mean? All we did was was take time out to see what we want to do with our solo careers, man. Oh, uh, yeah, because, you know, word on the street was, man, you know, y'all crews couldn't get along, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was word on the Crew street. Crew never break niggas up. You feel me? Okay. Like, that's, that's something where I, I, I couldn't, I never even heard that one. Like, that was <laughs> my first that. time hearing that. Like, <laughs> out of everything I've heard in the streets about us, I never heard our crews broke us up or our crews got in the middle of us. And that would never happen because... For the past 10 years, his crew been my crew, my crew been his crew. All right. Before that, we didn't have no crew. So, ain't no crew ever gonna break us up. No crew, no girl, no money, no nothing. It's our personal decisions to do what we did. It is. Nori, boy, you slimming down. What's good, baby? Yeah, man, I'm just chilling, man. Living a positive life on Sub-Zero. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be seeing my nigga Deep Freeze. <laughs> Always with the strippers. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, he man. He loves him, man. <laughs> man, I see your workout thing, too. I'm on, y'all. I'll be watching, man. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. What's the bet between you and Buster, man? The world want to know, man. Well, let me just set the record clear on Sub-Zero. Cause you asked me the question, I don't want to seem like I'm running around. Yeah. But the original bet was Bus. I told Bus I'm working out. Right. And Bus is like a person I look up to. He's an OG, and he basically he told me I don't believe you <laughs> because I had told him I was working out before Summer Jam, and if you got any footage of me at Summer Jam, you should you should show the people how big I was. So just imagine you telling a, a person to. Two, two weeks or maybe two months before summer jam, yo, I'm working out. Then a person see you and you're 310 pounds. <laughs> so, so he told me I couldn't lose weight. But now he's trying to change the bet to see which one of us can lose the most weight faster. I lost 62 pounds. I don't know how he's gonna come anywhere near 62. But I'm with that after he pays me the first 5,000 in I want it in quarters. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it rain, and when the strippers get hit with this money, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. <laughs> but I heard Boss call Little C's. I got the word. He's going to try to get it in with Little C's. So what I'm going to do, I might call Lakey Kid or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? I might call Melly Mel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's all love, man. I, I love it, man. Because it's all love with me and Boss. But... So y'all so y'all cool with Little C's, man? Jesus, my nigga, really. All right, man. You know, it's like, oh, okay. we all grew up, man. That shit is like, whatever, man. The, the, you know first what of all, we never had beef with Little C's. We never had beef with Kim. Uh, so, you know, there's it, no reason why we shouldn't be cool. You know what I'm saying? That shit was yeah. just something that was a situation took out of hand. But nobody got no beef, man. We cool, man. We loving life right now, man. We got our second hand back, baby. All right. Yeah. How you feeling about the statement Nas made about you, man? Uh, I, knew that, I, I, I knew you was going to hit me with <laughs> trying to get me out of retirement, my negative bill. Yeah. But you know what? Even him, I, I, I forgive him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. it, but it hurt me because it hurt me because it's like when people when people start making, if that's how he really felt, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have made that public. You know what I'm saying? If he felt that about me, he shouldn't have made it public. He should have called me. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. He can't take it back. And it's on me to forgive. So if I forgive him, then fuck it. I forgive him. I don't, I don't got no no drama with my eyes, nothing. And I will tell you one thing. If I ever do want to throw somebody under the bus, which it doesn't look like it's coming here, it's the first person I'm calling this sub zero. I'm calling him, we're gonna go straight to the hood, wherever we gotta go. We're gonna sit down and I'm gonna throw a nigga under the bus. I'm feeling it to do it, but it's just not in my aura right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we, we smell money coming, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you smell it. You smell it. You too calm, boy. We, yeah. we heard you going in offices with bats yeah, and all nah, types you know of what? shit. That's time. when things wasn't right. And <laughs> when, you know what? You, 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 uh, uh, a lion has to be a lion when he's in the jungle. 
But if you take a lion out the jungle and you put him in a zoo, that lion's going to calm down a little bit. Now, you can't throw a stake in that in the arena because the lion's going to be a lion again. But, you know, if you can't throw the stake in there while you're, you're in there. But right now, it ain't no need to be doing nothing stupid. It ain't need because the same way the feds is on the murder, you know, the same way the, they came and cracked and they got everybody to either, you know what I'm saying, you know, cross sides, they will do it again. Yeah. So I'm in any you know, from the hot 97 thing to the, you know, all that. Like right now, it ain't no time to dwell on nothing foul. Like it's like, right. let's just live our life and let's just let's just move on. Let's let's get, let's be let's be businessmen this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't know us for beefing, wild and everything, man. But they don't know us for being calm, cool yeah. out, man. And I'm not gonna say. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's normal, you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm doing what this nigga doing. I'm doing me. But I'm with my brother, so he could be calm. But when it's come time to wild out, you got me. I'm so proud to be back in New York City. Right now, New York City, they've been trying to hold us out the game for a second. You know what I'm saying? They, Because we, cause we had it so long. And, we, and a lot of times when we was up as, as a city, we wasn't showing love. So right now they're getting us back. They're not trying to give us back the game. And right now we got a totally different chance with the Ron Browse movement going on right now. You big him up. Buster yeah. Rhymes, A-Rab Money, the Pop Champagne, the Rotate, you got Joe with a record, you got Cardan with a record from, and right now it's like, yo, if we never, if we don't, if we hate each other, and you from New York City, my dude, like right now it's time to say, fuck it. Squash this beat, Everybody let's move on. It, because it sucks going to these other towns and not seeing not one New York artist record being played, not one New York artist coming out there to, 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 to motherfucking, Perform. It was crazy. I, I seen there's a show the other day out here, T.I.G.Z. and Ludacris. And I ain't got no people T.I.G.Z. and Ludacris at all. But it was crazy to come to my town and see that. I was like, that's ill. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was ill. That's like, and I ain't never show. been to Atlanta and seen Busta, you know, uh, Nas and DMX, like, on a show. I ain't never seen that. So it was, it's different. And I know they killing them, so they actually probably deserve it. But we gotta have these New York artists coming yeah. back. You gotta have them Jim Joneses on there. You got to have them Joel Santana's on there. Yeah. You got to have them, you know what I'm saying, Mano's on there. And I'm fighting hard. Yeah. At man. the end of the day, it's, it's moving with unity, man. And that's the thing about everywhere else but New York, they got that unity. And that's and right what we now, need, man. For me, my biggest thing as I collect the bread from Buster is I'm fighting for Summer Jam. Right now, it's January 8th. I'm getting my weight up because I'm if I if they allow me on that summer jam stage this year, because I, I went last year, I went as a guest, JD Kids brought me out. But if they allow me this year, summer jam and powerhouse, I'm going nuts on that stage. <laughs> they told me you brought reggae tone, man. Yeah. To New York City, man. To America. New York City too small. I brought it to America. Now let me just say something. I ain't invent reggaeton. And when I said that, I ain't, I ain't say I invented reggaeton. And I'm not even saying I actually brought it to America. It was here. I made it popular. Honestly, like if, if you don't think I brought it to America, especially reggaeton, it's like everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but you're an idiot. Because because the first and this is this is this is to this is real, like to all these dudes. They was popping in Puerto Rico, they was popping everywhere else. But when that record got added to Hot 97, when that record got added to Power 105, it made a difference for Spanish people, period. Because it was the first, they had Jamaican records get added to Hot 97 because when the person is speaking Jamaican, all it is is speaking broken English. When a person speaking a whole different language and you get played on an English station, a number one station, then you gotta recognize that. I ain't say I invented it. I ain't make up reggaeton, but I made it. I made it popular. I think you should give me my props brought it for that. Over here, brought it you know, over I brought it. Yeah, I made it popular. You know, I think I think that's one thing I should get my props for. You know, nobody gives me props for the Neptunes thing. Nobody gives me props for being the first dude to work with Swiss. And I don't get nobody gives me props for Scott Storch when he was ghost, you know, producing for Dr. Dre. We was the first dudes to cut him his first check. Like I don't get my those props Scott for that. On, you know what I'm saying? But I mean Scott, with the situation with Scott wasn't real public thing. The situation with Neptunes was, yeah. but I don't get those problems. But for Reggaeton, I made it clear, like, 
like, give me my props for this. And I picked up a reggae throne book the other day, and they said, you know, to the New York Latin rapper, like, N-O-R-E. And I was like, damn. Like, that's it. Right. Yeah, yeah, what up, what up? It's your boy Capone, you know what I'm saying? One half of that dynamic duo Capone and Noriega, man. And right now, with sub zero, man? You know, I'm co-signing everything that goes on with this movement, man. If you ain't with the movement, you with the wrong movement, bruh. Watch out for that album, Channel 10, Baby Capone and Noriega. Brothers for life, nigga. Oh! Yo, what it is, man, what it could be. Hopefully it's what it should be. It's your boy NRE. I'm holding it down, man. From one of the hottest, realest DVDs, you know, whatever you want to call it. Out there, Sub Zero, man. I fit it up with you. Knock me, you heard around the corner from the percolator, keeping the percolator popping <laughs> on the fire hydrant. That equals water. You figure smell that? <laughs> water, what it could be. <laughs> yeah, this is my man, the finger. He like the finger pop, everybody says. One, two. Yeah! <laughs> 
the first rotate performance ever. Sub-Zero, man, in all our Let's do it, baby. Hang, hang.